following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're... With your gold report, you just print in money. I love it. Uh, you're my best ad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. Now. Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. September 27th, folks, kicking in the end of September. You're going to love it. Don't take anything personally. Ignore the opinions of others. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinion according to their belief system, so whatever they think about you is not about you, but is about them. That's a, that's, a, that's a wild one, man. I mean, that's a hard one to really comprehend, really. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 103. NASDAQ is down 70. S&P is off 8. Gold contract flat, 17.50 an ounce. They got silver up 24 cents, $22.67 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 40, $75.38 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year up, uh, 10 year down rather, six ticks at 131.26. Third year off eight at 160.23 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 60 ticks trading at 93.387. Euro 116, yen 111. The British pound 137 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We get a sideways move out here. Spies trading out here at a price point of uh, down 67 bucks cents. Uh, bottom line, you've been kind of laying out here since last Thursday. Thursday had a little juice, uh, you know, into the into the market. You're going into your downdraft. Now we were going into that downdraft out there, folks, with uh, 76 million shares versus 118 million. So you see, it doesn't have the juice there. Today, what you're doing, sideways moves. The market's not telling us that much out here today, actually. Let's take a look at the NDX 100. NDX 100 is weak. Uh, NDX 100 got down to a price point of 367 to 73 out here. You're 370. That being said, bottom line is that you, you do and you are going to get a slight expansion of volume. Now, this is going to be very subtle, uh, but the bottom line is that compared to where we were last Friday, and compared to where we are right now, bottom line, you're going to end up with a lower low, and you're going to have volume on that low, so that's saying it doesn't want to go lower. Gold, gold contract out here. We traded inside the gold, con December gold. December gold traded down to 17.44. Also trading sideways out here. Right now, you're at 17.50. 131,000 contracts traded. What gold has done is this. So we ha we've had two very large downdrafts. The first downdraft we had uh, was the... 20, 25th, I believe. Um, 25th? No, the 9th. The 9th of August, sorry. The 9th of August, that's when we went from 1763 to 1677. The next one was about two weeks ago, and that's when we went from 1797 to 1745. Now, the first downdraft had uh, 295,000 contracts. The second downdraft had 250,000 contracts, and we tested that last Friday with 225,000. So the tests have been made. What hasn't been made yet, and has, well, hasn't been done yet, is we haven't seen a sign of strength. You know, when you get a test with lighter volume, you get a rejection of lower price, then you're looking for a sign of strength. We'll see whether we can get it. What has happened with the many, let's go to the GDX. What has happened with many of the gold and silver equities is that you got into the lower range, 
You had lighter volume. Few of them have jumped out of the lower range today. Bottom line, if we look at the GDX, the GDX would have to go to 3064. And right now you're at 2973 uh, to get in the higher range again. So we'll see how this baby sh uh, does shake out if, in fact, it can get into the higher range. Notes and bonds. Let's take a look at that note and bond market. So you had that note and bond market uh, break downtown uh, last week. You broke the consolidation. The, the bottom of that consolidation was the uh, 132.21 inside of the 10-year. Bottom line, we get down to 130.119 today. And yeah, 139.18. It's going to be interesting to see that. I, I mean, I, this can still get to like the 130.102. That's kind of how this is shaking out. Let me go see the TLT because... We had a couple of Tigers talking about the TLT here. And the TLT has stayed actually pretty strong. Um, so this came down to the bottom of the consolidation today and rejected it. So that's 145.80. We hit the bottom of the consolidation is the 146.91. This is good. This is a nice test out here today, man. That's the bottom line. Yeah, this is a, this is a, well, let me get here. One. 146.91. Yeah, you're coming out with 18 million. It's a good test. You know, you, you got down into this level, you rejected the lower price, and now we'll see whether we can get any strength. Oil. Oil market is uh, going topside, is topside in a big way. Uh, you get crude oil right now trading at uh, 73.36. And this baby here is making its way up to the uh, highs. The highs out here are 76.98. Uh, whether you look at the uh, XLE, the OIH, they're all moving and they all have some uh, uh, real strength behind them. You get the XLEs up a buck eighty-three, and you know we'll see whether they can make it all the way up to the top of the range. Top of the range in the XLE is fifty-six, and what we what we do have out here the XLF. You get the banks moving in a big way because you had those interest structures go up. And, uh, you know, if we look at the XLF, the XLF is going after its highs right now. The high that we're going after is 39.04. We hit 38.85 today. Uh, volume's not bad. So this is setting up that it's going to at least go test that area. We'll see how it basically uh, handles that, that larger area. Some of the high volume equities out here today. You got uh, Apple's down buck twenty-two. You got Advanced Micro up 223. Uh, Pelletier is uh, Plantier rather is down uh, one buck. You got uh, Exxon up one eighty three. Uh, Tesla is up twenty two dollars at seven ninety six. TS Tesla almost looks like it's going to break out again. So Tesla right now, yeah, you get a big number here, man. So Tesla, you're going above the whole range, seven eighty. Blew that away. That Tesla's going for his high, man. Tesla's worth 796, man. It's going to go for that 900 area. Pretty wild. Share it there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now uh, trading up 128. NASDAQ is uh, down 45. S&P's uh, down 3. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 128. Nasdaq's down 51. S&Ps are off three and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Mastering Probability, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Products. Bottom line, you hit subscribe. You can get Master and Probability for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. You can get it for a year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. Steve's got some great archives on there. You want to understand this market. Bottom line, come over, hit that button, check it out for a month. It works for you. Great. You can keep it. It doesn't work for you for some reason. You get your money back. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, it was sports uh, sports overload uh, weekend here. Uh, we had the uh, Ryder Cup going. Yes. Uh, uh, Saturday, we had Ryder Cup and college football. Sunday, Ryder Cup and uh, obviously NFL football. Plus, we had Boston and New York. Right. Uh, you know, so what a great sports uh, weekend it was. It was. Um, it's a pretty amazing. I mean, I know, you you know, you watch that golf. And I, I do, too. Uh, yes. But it's amazing about the amount of young players coming up. Right. I mean, it's pretty oh, cool. I, absolutely. And, uh, you know, a great match. It was it's always great to to watch these these, uh, you know. So the first rounds, Tom, on Friday and Saturday, they play, play alternate shot as partners and that's where you put the most pressure on yourself okay. possibly your partner because you hit you know you hit you let's say you drive and then it, i'd be hitting the second shot so you know if you hit it Ooh. into trouble you know i'm looking at you cross-eyed saying why'd you do that to me right so right. it's really fun to to really watch these guys uh, play and uh really just a terrific tournament i'm, I'm certainly one of the most beautiful golf courses um yes. you know in the, in the, in the planet uh, up in uh, Kohler, Wisconsin. Man, so, you really uh, got to know your direction there. I mean, you go <laughs> left to right. If you didn't see it, folks, let me tell you something. Between sand traps and the water, I mean, and, and just rough, right, everywhere. Oh, no, no, absolutely. Yeah. I, I think what they should do, I, I, I was supposed to play there a few weeks ago, but... Uh, I wasn't able to make that trip, but I think what they need to do, or they could money making business, would be to send a drone up following each foursome to to figure out where you just hit that ball. Wouldn't that you be know, cool? Make, yeah, no, make, no, yeah. that makes sense, man. I know. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. Maybe, maybe to wow. find, maybe find it. But uh, back to the uh, markets, I guess out here, we we always talk about, or I have been talking about the 86 year seasonal cycle. The Dow is in its weakest seasonal cycle time frame, folks, which is from late July through mid October, and we have taken a look at this chart and. 
in the past, but from a monthly perspective, September has the lowest odds of closing above the prior month's uh, close. And as we take a look at the current year, we still have uh, four trading sessions to go. Really, now we'll be down to about three trading sessions in a half an hour. So it looks like September's close will, in fact, be less than the August close. So at this stage here, it seems as if the analog is following along its path. And if that is, in fact, the case and the analog prevails, then we should be looking for a bottom to form in the next few weeks. That is puts us into our very favorable seasonal cycle, which is sometime around the middle of October. Tom, we don't try to time the annual seasonal cycle to a specific date, but we have seen that take place. So we should be looking for some type of bottom pattern here in October. And as to the market's current conditions, the current conditions from my vantage point remain bullish. And the reason is as long as price remains above the bottom of its TAS weekly profile, folks, those, those are the green lines on these charts here. In the upper left, you've got the NQ, the upper right, you've got the ES mini representing the S&P, the lower left, the Dow, and the lower right, the Russell 2000. So as long as price remains above those uh, bottoms, and we're just showing the bottom of those profiles here, market conditions will remain bullish. Now, how I generate that uh, that conclusion or reach that conclusion in order to generate a change in trend all we have to do go, is go back and take a look at how price has related itself to the bottom of those weekly profiles so if we go back into the february 2020 time frame once we got to close below that's the red arrow on this chart here okay. once we got to close below the bottom of that weekly profile that signaled a change in trend whereas we can see coming off of those march lows from 2020 we have seen pullbacks that have tested the bottom of those weekly profiles and those are the buy the dip levels and in essence that's what took place yesterday so inside the es mini folks the level you want to be putting on your pad of paper is 4312 that's the current bottom of its weekly profile if you see a weekly close below that that is going to be a signal of a change in trend the larger pattern that is in play out here as I take a look Tom at each of the equity futures contracts and really take a look at what last week's message was uh, was uh, nothing more than setting up a consolidation pattern so now where the Russell had been in a long-term consolidation we now have the NQ the ES the Dow equity future contract each in these consolidating patterns and and as you know as you taught me the cool thing about a consolidation pattern is once you see a break of this, you have a measured move that's equal to or greater than the consolidation. Now, the consolidation patterns can last a long time. So, you know, is this going to end in October? Uh, I don't know the answer to that. But more, what's most important is we know the levels in the areas to be watching for to be able to give us clues. So consolidating patterns out here, Tom, I don't know if you'd agree with me. I think they're the most difficult to trade. They're great day trading uh, opportunities or intraday trading opportunities. But you know, we, the swing trade would just simply be buying the bottom of the consolidation or selling the top of the consolidation. So we're in these consolidating patterns. And as the Dow was trading into the bottom of its consolidation, so that's what we see here in the uh, lower left. So as price was moving into the bottom of the consolidation pattern on a daily basis, what was forming was a Gartley buy pattern. And in your book, The Art of Timing the Trade, this had formed a 1 to 2 A to B equals CD. And I, 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 I believe in that book you say when you get to a 1 to 2, the market usually does something else. Yes. Is that correct? Well, yeah, 1 to 1 1.618 or more. Right, exactly. Yeah. Right. So in this instance here, uh, what the Dow actually did was it formed. Now, it didn't take place until a couple days later. Yeah. And that was on September 2nd. Now, that's because of how I take a look at the completion of an A to B equals CD. For me, the completion takes place not not in its projection area, but instead when we see in this case here an A to B equals CD to the downside, a bullish reversal candle. That took place on September 22nd. So that was the buy pattern. And all Gartley patterns, folks, have five different outcomes. Outcome number one is going to be the 0.382 retracement. Outcome number two is the 0.618 retracement, which price is above as we speak right now. That's at 34.860. That would suggest that outcome number three is going to take place, and that should get the Dow up into the 35.199. Outcome number four is what you termed a move of a move. So now I owe you a little bit of royalty check for using your term out there. But, folks, what that means is price just simply gets back to the A point of the A to B equals CD or the swing point where that started, and that's at the 35,631 level. First up on uh, next up is the 0.786 level, and that would be that uh, measured uh, that move all the way back to where the pattern began. Outcome number five would be that this turns into an A to B equals CD to the upside. Now, I'm not calling that just yet, but what I do know is there's five potential outcomes. 
And in this case here, 35,972 would be its initial price projection. So if this is, is unfolding and we're going to see outcome number five, geez, Tom, that says we get into a potential high in October. And back in 87, 2007, 2015, which led to a consolidation. If we take a look at the detail, in 1987, we had a Rhodes Mintum indicator top at that uh, 87 top. In 15, we had a, uh, a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. 2007, we had a Rhodes Mintum indicator top out here. So we know what to look for. We don't have that pattern as we speak just yet, but uh, we've got to be concerned about a potential October high. Pretty wild, man. Nice work. Yes. I'm telling you. <laughs> it, it's it's a, quite a market, man. There's no doubt about it. There, there's... Yeah, and consolidations frustrate everybody. Yeah, but that's for sure. Okay. No, for sure. Like, no doubt. We know, how, we know how these markets make tops and bottoms. No doubt. Folks, real easy to get to these news that come over to our website at TFN. Just hit that button. Steve, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Are you Come having back. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an Apex Predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charted software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up uh, 199. You get the Nasdaq down 56. S&Ps are off uh, 8. And if we go take a look uh, inside the NDX first and see what the strength versus the weakness out here. So strength out here, you have... Uh, Trip.com is up 3.4%. JD.com up 3.2%. NetEase is up 32 And you have um, Dollar Tree up 3 Let's just, I want to just look at this for a second. So JD.com, the first three stocks, folks, are Chinese companies. And it's like, blows my mind that people actually even put any money into these right now. But let's go take a look and see what we have. Okay, so JD.com, this is in... It has a high volume high, man, at 84. So 
You're at 76. Looks like it does want to go to 84. Interesting. Let me put this on a monthly. See where this thing shakes out. Okay, so on a monthly, we're down from 108. Still not bad for, for, for what it is out here. Okay, so let's, so the losers here, uh, Mercado Libre is down 5.8%. You get uh, OKTA is off 5%. You got Moderna off 46 Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness. We take a look at this baby out here. Oops. Okay, so point-wise, what we have, you got Goldman putting uh, 56 positive points, Home Depot 26, J.P. Morgan 25, Caterpillar 22. Taken away from it, Salesforce 35, Microsoft 31, Nike 12. Let's go over to Nike, because Nike, I was watching Nike this morning. Nike is into the gap now, folks, okay? This is going to be a, a very large move, man, because... Once you get into that gap, this is just like a big magnet, man. Um, you know, Mikey, Nike on Friday gapped down from the uh, 160 area, came out with the numbers, gapped down to 140, 48, quick 20 bucks. Once it got underneath 150, 40, your game, man, your game all the way down to this 134, which is going to be pretty amazing, actually. But yeah, the, the gap was so extraordinary. What you can get out of this is that. When you have gaps, folks, that are this big, okay, bottom line is that when you get near them, just pay attention to them because, you know, there doesn't have to be anything wrong with Nike, yet it will still go fill this gap. <laughs> that's, that's the bottom line. That's how, that's how it works. Because once you're into the gap, and it's into the gap good now. I mean, we're into the gap by three points. Um, so bottom line, it's going to get sucked right down to the bottom of that gap. So pretty intense. Microsoft. We take a look at Microsoft out here. What do you have with Microsoft? Uh, Microsoft right now is uh, trading down 460, and you still got volume again. You know, we came down last week with volume. We came down with 36 million. Now, you don't have anything close to that, but you still have volume, meaning that we got higher last Thursday with uh, 16 million, 18 million. You're lower today with 17.7. Bottom line is that that is saying that it's going to basically, you know, stay into lower price. It's consolidating. Uh, it's actually building cause to go test the uh, last week's low again of that uh, 289.52. So we'll see uh, how this baby is going to shake out. Amazon. Let's go to a couple of the other big dogs out here. We take a look at Amazon. Amazon right now has rejected lower price out here at uh, 33.33 or 34.03. Um, that being said, guess what? Amazon came down last week with volume two. So. My take is that we're going to go back down into those levels. This correction is just getting going. This correction, to me, is not even close to uh, being over. I can tell you, it's, that's, that's, you know, that's, where, that's where I'm at with this. Google, same deal. Look, look at this. It's just sticking out like a sore thumb, man. Uh, 2741. You have, you have a lot of them that basically are just sitting there. And I suspect what we're going to have here, folks, is this. So, so picture this. You know, there's, there's, there's quite a few analysts that are discounting Evergrande in China as to, you know, it's a one-off, okay? And, you know, that's what Wall Street would do anyway because Wall Street's job is for all of us to keep buying paper that they push out. And, you know, to me, this is just the beginning of, uh, you know, the real estate disaster that folks have been looking for in China for like 15 years. You know, once, once you start, once the king dog is down, so the king dog is down right now, and that's Evergrande, that's the largest builder in the world. The king dog is down. The suppliers are down because the suppliers haven't got paid. The people that invested in them are down. What we don't know yet, and this is what hasn't come out yet, is that, okay, so China, first China has banks and they have trust companies, then they have, you know, and the trust companies, folks, uh, basically called the gray market. It's a, it's a gray market. Um, the bottom line is that Evergrande has been out there paying 10 or 11% for money for over two years right now. And the administration in China, okay, so check this out. One of the regulations in China, this is, this is his quote, and it's a great quote. 
if you're paying 7%, okay, um, is it 8, 9, 10? No, it's 8. It's 8. If you're paying 8%, if Evergrande's paying 8, or any big developer in China is paying 8%, you, you better be a little careful, right? If you're paying 9%, okay, that is basically, you know, putting up signals that, hey, hey, this company's going to be in trouble. Because you got to remember something. These are companies that can go to the public markets, okay? And when you go into the public markets, you know, the bottom line should be 2 or 3%. Now, now, check this out. When you're paying 10%, which Evergrande was paying, it had been paying for like two years, the bottom line, he says, you better run. And I suspect what's going to end up happening is this. We're going to see other large companies go south. Those, there's going to be huge amounts of U.S. money that's involved here whether it's in the debt structure, whether it's in the credit structure, or whether it's actually in the equities themselves. And, you know, like anything else, when the tide goes out, you're going to find out who has a bathing suit on and who doesn't. And I can guarantee you, I can't guarantee you any, anything, but I can, I, I'm speculating that a lot of our funds, big funds, okay, are going to have debt tied to Evergrande, and I think some of them, and this is will be the real shocker, some of them will end up being in ETF structures. And in the ETF structures, that's just going to go spin a whole nother deal on the deal. So we'll see how this shakes out, but that's where um, I think there's going to be more pressure all around. That, that's, that's the real bottom line. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at the uh, euro. Well, actually, let's, let's look at the dollar, and then we're going to take a look at the euro. So the dollar has been hanging tough at these highs. Um, we're at uh, up 78 ticks. You're at 93,405. The high out here, last high is 91,729. I expect that's going to get hit. If we take a look at the, uh, the other side of the correlation, Meaning the euro, uh, euro out here today didn't hold price. It's only down 23 ticks, but it's at its lows. Now, it's different in the pound. The pound wants higher price. Uh, the pound already rejected lower price out here. Um, it's up 24 ticks right now, 137. It looks to me like the pound wants to get up to the 139. Uh, now, the, the yen, the yen does look like it wants higher price. It's going to get weaker. Uh, that will get the dollar stronger. Right now, the yen's up 30 ticks. It took out a consolidation. That's saying the yen can get up to this uh, 111. Well, actually, 111 what? 111.66, and right now we're at the 111.02. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up. Where are you, baby? Come on. Up 94. Nasdaq down 53. S&P's off 8. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 105. You get the Nasdaq uh, uh, down 49. S&Ps are off 6.5. And, and if we go, uh, you know, you talk about energy, folks. Okay, we go look at the natural gas market. Uh, pretty intense. All the tigers and tigers out there have been talking about it, trading it, uh, all of the above. And uh, so you get natural gas right now up 59 cents. We're trading it $5.76. And the thing that's intriguing here is it's been a straight line move up today. Okay, and, and just so you can understand this, folks, a 59 cent move, I believe, is a $5,000 move. I used to trade this light. Uh, 10,000 bucks is uh, uh, yeah, a, a dollar. Okay, so you're talking about a monster move out here. Um, now, that being said, it's taken its, its swing out, but it doesn't have any volume behind the move. But guess what? You're 10 cents over the swing, so guess what? That can go a lot higher. There's going to be some huge problems evidently coming into the winter here in Europe, um, you know, for shortages of energy in general, folks, okay? They've always had big problems uh, in Europe with the natural gas market, that's for sure. Now what you have is that, you know, in the U.S., natural gas has gone up pretty ex exponentially. So we'll see where the rest of this is going to shake out. And, of course, oil uh, is not only up, it's, it's up in spades, though. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, I suspect that uh, we're going to see that actually continue to higher price. Our guest today, folks, is Michelle Northrup. Michelle is the founder of Intensity Academy Gourmet Sauces. We're going to have some good hot sauces out here today, folks. Intensity Academy Gourmet Sauces is an all-natural hot sauce and spice company. The company has won 55 awards uh, so far. Big number. Michelle was named Tampa Bay Businesswoman of the Year in manufacturing. Uh, she's also an ardent supporter of local businesses. Michelle, welcome to TFNN. Hi, thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. Well, thanks for being on. Look look at that. Look at that hat. What is that? Is that, is that all chilies? Is that hatch chilies? What do you got on that? Chili, chili peppers. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot. You know what I just got at my house? I just got 45 pounds of hatch chilies. No we, way. Yeah, totally. What are you going to what are you doing with them? We already grilled them down, and Bridget will use them all winter long by cooking. I, I know. I, I, I couldn't wait to have you on. So first Oh, yeah. Off, Hatch chili season, man. That is the best time of year. It is. It is. I love that hat. Oh, my God. So tell us tell us about your business. Tell us how you get going. Sure, sure. sure. So um, I'm known as the Saucy Queen, and throughout the Tampa Bay area and beyond. Yeah. And we create all natural hot sauces, spices, dips, and we've been doing it for about 15 years. And if anybody needs to get sauce, I'm the person to ask about it. And, and the website, folks, is intensityacademy.com. Okay, so it's right. And so let me ask you, when you were naming the, the, the company, it's just the intensity, I guess, of the great taste that you have, right? What? And so I started the company because I was inspired at the garden of my children's school okay. the vegetable of the week was carrots so i brought a basket of carrots home whipped it up with some peppers yeah and i came up with a kicking carrot hot sauce i love it yeah okay so that started the business i figured hey let's just take a risk either everybody was going to get a gag gift for christmas or it was going to take off yeah and it's been doing great that is awesome. So is there a special sauce that p people like more than another sauce? 
<laughs> well, our most popular is our garlic goodness. I it see. took okay. 100 pounds of fresh garlic, and we slowly roast it yeah. for a few hours until it's that beautiful caramelized effect. Yes. And then we burr it, so it's like a garlic puree mixed with habanero, Thai pepper, red pepper, a beautiful blend of flavor. I happen to have one right here. Look so at that. Yeah. you can see how thick it is. It's like a garlic puree. And nice this and healthy is, for you, right? Oh yeah, yeah, all healthy. And the number one ingredient is garlic, not a filler or water. So it's a pure product and everything is made locally right here in Tampa Bay. So tell us, you know, I know you got Business Woman of the Year for manufacturing. So tell yes. us about the manufacturing process, because that's a big deal. Yeah, it is a big deal. Um, so to take a product that you, you have a recipe for and have to expand it to be able to create 100 gallons or 200 gallons at a time, yes. that's a huge process for sure. And... and Talk to me about the uh, how do you get the the, the the glass versus the the product and the, the product into the glass? How does that work? Right. So right now, because of our pandemic, there is a glass shortage throughout the United States. Okay. So I'm currently waiting to produce five products until the glass comes in stock. Um, it's really hard now to source versus when I started 15 years ago. Yes. There is a glass manufacturing company in the Tampa Bay area, so we use them. Oh. I do produce my labels locally, my glass locally. Okay. Uh, I'm fresh from Florida. The ingredients are local. So if it's local, it's in this bottle. And which is pretty cool. I mean, we have a lot of, you know, going up north a little, we have a lot of great, you know, basically soil that you can get some great plants, right? Right, absolutely. Yeah, so what is your favorite sauce? So my favorite is the Saucy Everything. It oh, is interesting. spicy mayo, Okay. and it is good on everything. So you think of like, I make my own uh, version of our sriracha, and then I make the mayo and put it together. Yeah. Bam, it's great on shrimp on uh, street tacos, on sandwiches, dip chicken tenders in it. It is literally good on everything. So you must have been pretty excited. Like, I've done a lot of shows when I was a kid. You know, I used, yeah. to, I used to be in the food business. And you're in a tough business, and everyone wants to be, you know, the saucy queen, but you are the saucy queen. So tell me about the breakout. How did you break out? Sure, sure. So. First of all, it's not easy being the saucy queen. Let's just say that. Um, that you're going to live up to that reputation. That's right. Right, right. It's a 24-7 job. Um, when I started the business, like I said, I had decided, okay, I'm going to take a chance. I had literally enough money to just do one batch. I love it. It was yeah. going to work or it wasn't going to work. And so from that batch, the next time I was able to do two batches. Wow. And so on and so forth. So I never borrowed a penny. I just had the initial batch, um, and I just grew it from there. And the way I grew it in the Tampa Bay community was by collaborating with other small businesses. Nice. This that had nothing to do with sauce or food even. Um, for example, one of the companies I partners partnered with was an eye doctor okay. and he thought that because carrots are good for your eyes, he gave away a free bottle of carrot hot sauce with each appointment. So collaborating with other businesses in your community um, was a great way to get the word out. Oh, this is fabulous. Well, listen, congratulations. Thank I think it's you. fabulous what you're doing. Uh, you get that kitchen, you started with zero, yeah. but guess what? You started with a great idea and a great cook and a great smell in your kitchen. So that's, that's it. yeah. Absolutely. That's a, that's a big number, man. Well, listen, Michelle, this is a pleasure and I look forward to having you on again. I, and congratulations, man. This is just awesome, man. And sauces Thank are where it's so at. Much. So the website, folks, is intensityacademy.com. Get over there and order some sauce up right now, baby. Have a great one. Have a safe one. We look forward to having you on again. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, bye-bye. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 67. You get the NASDAQ uh, down 83. S&P's up 14 and a half. Bottom line, folks, is that you, uh, the roll is on here, man. Uh, you know, you, get, you can say that uh, the S&P's are basically sideways move out here today that's what it come down to but uh got up to a 444 and couldn't handle price meaning the spy we're at 442 46 we go into the ndx which has been one of the weakest uh equities out here uh indices out here rather uh that's down 325 right now trading 370 you can have an expansion of volume that's saying you know lower prices are coming at us iwm different ball game and you know we were talking about this before because i was talking about the aspect that you have a huge amount of Oil stocks, exploration stocks, gold stocks, silver stocks inside the IWM. Well, the gold and silver stocks aren't helping the IWM today, but the energy stocks are in a huge way, folks, okay? Uh, bottom line, you're up $3.38. I suspect this thing, um, you know, is going to run into this uh, 229 or 226, and we'll see whether the, the, the top is game. All, all it would actually take at this particular point is to get some juice underneath the metal market in order to make that IWM really go because inside the uh, energy market right now it's it's going and it's going in spades. If we go take a look at uh, Exxon Mobil, even the large integrated ones, you'll see uh, Exxon in uh, five days has just gone from a price point of 52 to 59. That, that is a monster number. Uh, the top of the range here is uh, 59.33. Uh, so today's going to be a big day for it, but it has volume behind the move. So 
Uh, now, this is where it's going to run into some trouble. This is ICE. ICE and ExxonMobil is 59.35, and we're at 59.28. We hit 59.80. Uh, I expect what you're going to see now is you're going to have to build some cars, you know, for higher price. The thing that's amazing about the uh, oil market right now, too, by the way, folks, is that you have dollar, the dollar at highs. And, you know, if this dollar backs down at all, you'll see that oil market really take off. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night, folks. Come back and visit us tomorrow morning. Tommy kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Go get them, folks. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They